know the slur. Come on. Yeah. No. You see, he has a tattoo of it. I, that's, you know, I was talking about this with someone the other day because they had just heard the slur moon cricket. For that was the first me. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, it's no, really bad, apparently. I guess. It doesn't sound bad. What was the one that they called you? It sounds like uh, a fun. snow roach. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, that feels good, right? Oh, I, mean, I like it. <laughs> I've gotten bird shit as well, and I kind of like that There's one. There's 42 white people in this room, and everyone right. was like... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Kite Club Podcast with Jonathan Kite. Uh, with me today, we are coming from a very special location in Austin, Texas at Hide Your Mom Studio. So shout out to Uncle Laser and Giorgio for having us here today. We are, I am joined uh, by some of my great friends. Uh, if you follow me at all on social, you have seen them. I'm joined by Mr. Ryan Neeson. What up? Uh, Mr. Michael, eat everything that's out there. Tis I. And Tis I the consumer. <laughs> the consumer of all. <laughs> Dude, Galactus himself, the world eater, is here. Yeah, uh, I do look like him when I'm around ice cream. They, have to, they see you coming, they chain the door. Yeah. We're out. I am uh, the original throat goat. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it. That's the episode. And it's great. <laughs> um, we're at Throat Goat Mike Eden, and uh, <laughs> at Throat Goat Mike Eden, you can follow him on. Pornhub, <laughs> yeah, Pornhub, Food Network, well, find and uh, Farmers Only, and uh, Uncle Laser, my man. We're out here, baby. Thank you, baby, for being here, mm -hmm. and Giorgio is in the booth. Um, coming up, uh, we're going to be in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, check JonathanKiteComedy.com. That's going to be ju June 29th through July 2nd, mm -hmm. Second. and uh, we'll be at the Tempe Improv, so come on out and see us there, JonathanKiteComedy.com for all those, but we've been in Austin uh, this week, it's been fucking amazing, and uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Mike just got in here mm -hmm. with two paydays, yes, and he uh, let everybody know that there were chocolate payday. So what happened was, <laughs> when Mike showed up, he was in essentially blackface, yeah, <laughs> because he, there was so much chocolate on his face. <laughs> From he he ate a treat in the car. Yeah, I so, had a car treat. So we asked. So so we called and Mike's like, I'm almost there. I'm almost it there. It was a two minute ride. Yeah, I can hear break. him. I can hear the background uh, sounds of the music from a Seven yeah. Eleven. Yeah, I'm like, don't lie. He's like, no, no. I'm just getting off the highway. That's I can, I hear the guy opening a beer cooler yeah. and um, uh, for a, a Mike and Ike energy drink. Yeah. And um, and then he's like, and then Ryan's wife Carmen was like, oh yeah, can you get me a payday? By the way, she had that answer in the chamber a little too fast. By the way, she's never been more confident. And less confident with her answer. She's, she's like, like, "What would you want?" She's like, "She's like payday, payday." But then she like sat on it. Yeah. She, and then the, we held it in the room. And then he was like, "Cool, I'll get you a payday." Comes in. Also, the wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 pause. We're not gonna just shit on paydays. No, they're great. No, no, yeah, they're, no, 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 they're all right, great. All right. Because you, your guys are acting like no, her no, requesting a payday is insane. Who doesn't no, no, she enjoy came a payday? With that immediately as if she had an inner monologue going of like someone is gonna ask yeah. me what kind of candy I have today. Because okay. like you asked immediately, and I was like, "Hey, Mike wants to know if I want." At one anything, and immediately she was like, "Payday, yeah." <laughs> no, no, but just immediately. I think that's amazing. She was ready to go, and then Mike was like, "I'm gonna get one for my own." Got a chocolate one. Yes, and then clearly came in uh, <laughs> fully loaded. Yes, with chocolate on his face. Yes, he, you had. had I that, was driving alone. There was no one there to warn me. That's why you were so late. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you pull no. over to eat it, or you? Oh you, God, you, no! Oh, come, come on, let's ask him. He just drove around the Seven yeah. Eleven, came back. Did you hear how he with got a, home with, last night? With a night? different hat on. <laughs> He's like, I wasn't just in here, sir. You just cleaned us out of paydays. We limit the customer. Hello, I would like one payday, but, please. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, gangster? You got any paydays? You have a payday mustache. So you've reached. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that was my son. I'm his father. It's a robot I'm just really gonna suck when I have to go in without my shirt on. So like, sir, you. Chocolate all over your face, <laughs> and you come Pay in with it. Mike comes in with the with the with the chocolate on his face. We sit down, and I keep telling him, "I go, Mike, you have chocolate on your face." And he goes, "Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh." And then I go, "It's you still have it." And he licks his hand and just goes like a seal cleaning himself. <laughs> you didn't get anywhere near it, by the way. You, you weren't anywhere. By the way, you didn't even get the mouth. The fact that you reached for your chin or your cheek, excuse me, <laughs> were you just fucking motorboating chocolate out there that you were just like, <laughs> 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 
Hold on. <laughs> Here's the thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> my, by the way, right now you're defending yourself on food court. <laughs> <clears throat> I love a good food court. But uh, no, I'm the judge on food court. <laughs> oh, you would never. <laughs> you know, no. no, he looks I like a judge in a food court. I look like the gavel in food court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so go ahead. You could be a French fry at best. Yeah. Um, Not even the bailiff. So I, I stopped and I got a chocolate croissant. Yeah. And, and a hydration drink for the road. And then I grabbed a, a water bottle and then payday for Carmen. And then chocolate payday that I shared because I'm sweet, sweet boy. That was you did share. really nice. That was very nice of you. Very I positive. didn't anticipate my, my generosity. I would have grabbed a third payday. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <Yeah. laughs> no, no, I didn't. I, I should have grabbed a third payday. I didn't grab a third. I only grabbed the two. Uh, but the thing is, the way that I consumed the croissant is I was driving, and I was just, ah, nah, 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 at, at my face. And so I just, anywhere in here is fair game for chocolate. So when you said it was on my face, I was like, this probably will cover it. <laughs> then you know what? Good for you, because you only had it here. <laughs> Pretty cool. No, that, was, that feels like a feed bag was involved. Huh. And that's, ah. that's the chocolate croissant from the gas station in the little glass window that you pull and you've got to grab the pliers. Oh, no, work. I'm a trash it's animal. Yeah, it's the one yeah. it's in a package. Oh, oh my shit. God. <laughs> There's just a trash can in the back. Yeah. You got, you you got sold it by a raccoon. <laughs> Dude, the, the first thing I eat of the day when I know I just have to have something so I'm not hangry, I am a trash panda. Just yeah. anything at a gas station. Just nah, throw it in my face. Yeah. What's your go-to? Uh, probably taquitos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I had, a Korean, I had a Korean barbecue stuffed one. It's barbecue, like Korean barbecue meat in the crispito the other day at the Where? all subs. Wait, you're buying? There's an all subs here. Or the quickie, the quick tip, the oh, quick tip, quick trip. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, quick trip. Yeah, not all, no. Wait, all you almost left there. the podcast. The, yeah. the chicken, the green I, chili and chicken chimneys. Oh my fucking, fucking lord, bud. Rice. So the gas station food's actually good out here. Well, no. Yes. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, but like Seven Eleven, like you're never gonna touch. Oh, one it's better. It's better than okay. 7-Eleven. It's yeah, better than yeah, 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Quick Trip is what uh, would change the game in Cal in like LA because okay. it's a nice gas station. It's always clean. The bathrooms are always clean. The employees know what they're it's doing. It's not a Bucky's though. Whoa. It's not a Bucky's. Not a Bucky's. Don't don't get it twisted. <coughs> guys, yeah, because yeah, it's Bucky's not a fucking it, Walmart. Bucky's a sponsor, Bucky's. guys. <laughs> I hope someone shoots that beaver. I hate Bucky's. Whoa. What? Holy shit. Bucky, you know, the like sponsor, tell me no. what you want me to do. I will take care of this motherfucker. He will never be found. Look, we all know I have bad opinions about things. Bro, so that's the thing. So people, if go listen to a Highly Social, Mike's podcast that I was on. So the reason, so I love this crew. I mean, this is my, the, the Austin guys. So obviously Ryan lives in LA with me, but these are the two guys I hang with when I'm out here in Austin. And Mike has... The worst fucking taste. For a man who tastes everything, he has the worst fucking taste. And when we were on his podcast, he goes, I don't like the Shawshank Redemption. It's a bad movie. Mike. <laughs> Mike, what the fuck, dude? Have you guys seen Transformers? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <no>. Transformers? <laughs> He wanted, you to, he wanted you to hang yourself with that. George, you just like fucking, yeah. <laughs> Dude, awfully sweet. It's a shock collar for Mike. Yeah. Anytime hang him by his bad ankle. Opinion, we just, yeah. The new Transformers is coming out June 9th. I know. I do bits. Of, yeah, come see me do bits about it on stage. Oh, man, I can't wait. Um, Rise of the Beast. Is, it, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Is Shia LaBeouf going to be back in it? No, I fucking wish. Rise yeah, of the that's, Beast that's is his documentary. God, if he was crazy and came back, that would be so cool. Yeah, well, they it was Shia LaBeouf. Well, I, I always said um, with Mark Wahlberg, not even to like do the impression, but he, I love that he was from Texas in the movie, and he had the thickest yep. Boston accent. He's like, you know what they say about people from Texas? I'm like, what, that they're from Boston? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Like, it, it, that was the funniest Whoa. thing, though. And then now it's um, Anthony Ramos, right, from, uh, from uh, um, In the Heights. Don't and know who what I that think is. was also in. Uh, <laughs> don't so know him or what that a, is. Any, anyone Brown, you don't know. Jesus, Mike. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's like, that's why we... he didn't like Shawshank. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't like Shawshank because Morgan Freeman's boring and Andy Dufresne's character is not compelling. But that was the point. He was a he was a tax guy and he went to jail. Yeah. He snapped. I, he found meaning in life. Yeah. Where? In Shawshank <laughs> Prison. Yeah. That's, That's where really? some say he was redeemed. See. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, spoiler <laughs> alert, there's a redemption. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he was, though. The movie did, I, I never once, like, in the movie, was like, this is cool. Like, it was just boring. So fucking, he's in jail. No, no rape. There was 
red. It was red. So hold on, hold on. We so I think that Mike went into diabetic comas and passed out. We talked about this on your pod. I don't think that you saw the whole movie. You said something like this on your pod. You know, I don't think he even got out. And then the other guy like he gets out. Mike just watched the preview. Yeah, this movie sucks. He just saw it in a bookstore. Yeah, I hate that movie. There's no pictures because it fucking sucked. It's not memorable. It's not memorable. Hold on. You do a lot of drugs. <laughs> and I... I've not- done a lot of drugs since I've seen The Gray Man, and I remember several things about it. That was a great film. Mike, we just lost all of our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get the fuck out of here. What wait, else can we throw at him? Wait, <laughs> well, yeah. So we... we, we, well, we this was a conversation that I'm, I'm, I wanted, obviously, to have you on for this, because we talked about how you didn't like... Um, oh, you did like Green Mile. I think that's Michael Clark Duncan? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just like the way he talks. <laughs> yeah, he, he's somehow, he out Vin Diesel's Vin Diesel. Yeah. Sorry he's dead. that, boss. I met Michael Clark Duncan. I, Before or after Cheesecake. I gave, I gave the eulogy. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory? Um, I met him at Cheesecake Factory. What was yeah, that? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Well, I would love was, to see that guy dude, eat. He, I bet his hands look his, crazy. So his arm was the size of my torso. I said he looked like part of Voltron. Dude. Like it, it would take five of me to put I together bet his one. His fingers of him. are the same size as those Southwest avocado egg rolls. Those are two different rolls. The, the Tex Mex egg rolls and avocado egg rolls oh, are yeah, two yeah. different bullshit. That you you're like a guy who's like faking he doesn't know the menu by heart. <laughs> that was the yeah, biggest bro. thing. He's like those uh, Southwest avocado egg rolls with the tamarind cashew sauce. Never had it. <laughs> you have food autism. <laughs> Remember everything. Yeah, he has food face blindness. <laughs> yeah. no, he goes, he goes, Daddy, just eat. Yeah. Hey, you no. have an avocado on the side of your face. <laughs> Dude, you're like, you're like that guy where I, you rub enough and a chicken like just falls off. What? You got something on your face, Mike, just mashed potatoes. I like how you said you're like that guy. Like, you see a lot of them. Yeah. Um, Andre the Giant. Yeah. 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 You're like, guys, chicken legs fall off the face. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> Dude, um, yeah. But you have you have what are the, tell our listeners <laughs> other great movies that you think are great that we will n- immediately won't like. Fast X was incredible. So here's the thing. <laughs> Did you see it yet, Laser? Yeah, it's trash. Did you see it? Yeah. What do you right, want? Hey, you got, hold on. hey we're no, we're pro Fast X over here. No, 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 here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not anti. I'm not anti Fast X. Um, but I do think that so contractually famously. The Rock and Vin Diesel had it where they couldn't knock the other one down because they didn't ever want to lose. Mm-hmm. And that if they were going to get a big enough star like Dwayne Johnson, but they had to equal it out. This movie was like a Modelo commercial. And it was like, and everybody had to have the last line of the movie. Yeah, it was so cool. It was all just, it was all just, it was all <laughs> just one all catchphrases. Hey, yes, it was. Yeah. Like the first fo- off, fans listening, apologies, spoilers incoming. John Cena hi- I got a kayak plane into a, into a bigger plane. I love how you think that's a spoiler. <laughs> hey, spoiler. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, I thought they were oh, just going to go kayaking. Oh, that is my, dude, your hot takes right there. Guys, spoiler alert, it's about family. Yeah, yeah spoiler, guys, there's no kayaking in this movie. Spoiler alert, Steve Harvey's in it for a family feud portion. Like, what are you talking about? That's your spoiler. What? I love that so much. Guys, I know it ruins this for a lot of people. But then don't check the IMDb unless you want to find out about the appearance of Kayak. <laughs> <laughs> the special appearance by Kayak. <laughs> and the thing is, when he revealed the Kayak to be a plane, me and everyone I watched it with stood up and cheered. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to take that joy away from someone. To, because if I had just told them the Kayak's a plane, they're going to go in there like, and be like, oh, it's, oh, a, it's, a, it's a short plane. bus field trip. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> just Mike yelling Kayak. <laughs> <laughs> Play the play. Yeah. Will somebody get this man some more uh, some more red vines? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> milk does and popcorn. You pour the milk. I love, dude. I do it with uh, with peanut M and M's. Also, or, great oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Somebody one time told me that they didn't like the pretzel M and M's. I was like, get the okay. fuck out of here, dude. The only M and M that sucks is the regular M and M. A hundred percent. It's yeah. awful. It's an awful candy. And the fact that they came out with that so early on, and then people were like. Oh my God! We should just inception this candy. Just mm-hmm. put yeah. other in candies inside it. Let's wow, make this candy pregnant. Let's make this a Russian doll. I think that's what happened. Is they saw the the original M and M's were there, and then they saw those sexy M and M's. Some dude is just and fucking like, an M and M bag. <laughs> yeah, the first one was cream filled. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't working. This He's is just working. fucking the green M and M bag. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. She's a lady. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't gay. <laughs> um, 
By the but, way, that should be the new saying, the best thing since peanut M&M's instead of sliced bread. How old are they? But they're just better, though. They're better than sliced bread. See, this is why I can't be the. <laughs> we're the bitch meaning guys, because people are really using the sliced bread shit. Guys, I think it's not working anymore. Didn't we? See, didn't we just see a guy come in a bag of M and M's? I think he was out to something. And no one's ever fucking a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, you're right. yeah, you ever look at a corgi ass? Dude, a fresh sourdough. Oh, oh my god, that's, that's your porn. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why is your porn hub search oh. Panera? Oh, you need a starter out the finisher. You know what I'm saying? Let's Hot out, go. fresh out the kitchen. You oh. thought it was something else? Yeah. Just you loading up on Hoss Cross buns. I told Todd Barry that I only wrote spicy honey because I thought it was about food. <laughs> what? This is Netflix special. I know it okay, well, okay. Mike. I'm asking you to leave. <laughs> Dude, great special, by the way. Yeah. Amazing great special. special. He's amazing. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's so wait, other Hold on. Other things that you love. Because here's the thing. Hold on. The thing about Fast X, I will say. Incredible. I, I do. Here's the thing. Jason great Statham. Great dialogue. Jason Statham. Arguably, I think the best actor of any of them. Yeah. He had like seven lines. That's in how it. good he is. Eighty <laughs> percent of communication is nonverbal. In those movies, it's a hundred percent. He's like he, Vin Diesel just goes. Hold on. Hold go. on. At what point, Jason Momoa and Vin Diesel are like and staring at each other, and then everyone pulls their guns out. And as Jason Momoa does his crazy head movements to show that he's crazy, the people behind him adjust where their guns are so that his head can move. You're telling me that's not incredible? I'm telling you it's not incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was waiting to see if there was more story. Uh, really I'm, I'm telling part. you, our listeners are telling you. <laughs> that part was awesome. Your therapist is telling you. He painted nightmare. a dead guy's toenails. That was that was a that funny was the scene. one scene where I thought was. I, but but that there was like there was something very clever about that, and I understand that they're setting up seventeen more of these. I love that they're like two more. Two more. I know. Sorry guys, no spoiler alert for that one. But yeah, uh, that but was wait, a bigger plot twist. How is it? How is it not a racing? <laughs> like, a, how is that a racing car? And then when they announce, w there's a like spoiler alert. It's just on the back of the car. I like that. See, they could use us on the team. You know what? No, we don't have what they need. We are not that kind. Of oh, I can't just look into a phone and go. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. No, I, my you bad. Can, you could be in the film. You just couldn't be in the writer's room because you obviously don't there's appreciate. No writers. <laughs> that's, that's an improv movie. I was just yeah. gonna say they yes and family. You're guys, right. yeah, guys, give Vin Diesel a suggestion. Family. I heard family. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it, Vin Diesel's improv troupe. Like, g wait, give me a location. Uh, you're in a barn. I heard family. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, no. I said the craziest no, I, part was when they, when they were on the phones with Jason Momoa and him, and I was like, they all contractually got the last line in the scene. I'm like, you would just hang up the phone. Then they finally did, but he's like, he goes, you, you, you made one mistake. You came from my family, and he goes, well, you already came from my family. And then you think like, okay, the scene's over, and then Vin Diesel's like, don't you never come from my family? <laughs> and he goes, too late, man. You were in my family. And then yeah. he goes, I'm just like, oh my god! It's a drinking game. You can't yeah. get through the opening credits. Why? Bro. I mean, it, it was so good, though. I mean, I will say this: it was entertaining as fuck. But, but by the way, where can they go? There's two more of these. <laughs> First no. off, we don't know if Vin Diesel escapes with his son from the explosion. Whoa! Now that's a spoiler. Whoa! I already alerted them. <laughs> no, you said kayak. He said kayak yeah. and plane, I dude. told them there will be spoilers ahead. <laughs> but then you opened with something that they clearly were like, maybe this guy didn't see the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe he's treating this like Shawshank. Yeah. This is, this is, this is Mike's, <laughs> Mike's review of the movie. It was crazy that Vin Diesel wasn't in this one. <laughs> Mike, you didn't didn't see the movie. <laughs> Slept right through I, I, can, we, can we talk about this? How come everybody was immediately on the same walkie-talkie oh, channel? The fact like that the he was on the same on channel? The, you guys yeah. don't know about the Eye of God? Well, no, they didn't clearly, have it. you no, don't no, pay attention. It is, no. It's the Deus Ex No, no, like, no, I know, but she had it and was in control of it. How yeah, did Jason no, Momoa... He, he got it. He was Jason in control Momoa of it. No, I know, but he was on before that hacking. He was already on their channel. No, no, no. He was on their communications channel in their car. Yeah, how did he do that? He had nerds, remember? 
on but top of the Vatican when he was doing cool stuff. I feel like what this is this is literally the movie. This is the pitch. He's like, so so Jason Momoa obviously is on the thing. He goes, well, how could it be on the thing? Because he hacks the thing. <laughs> yes, yes, nerds. And he goes, wow. Nerds can do it. And then he's like, you're like, hold on. You're like, I'm like, like, listen, so it's Ryan and Laser and I and Giorgio, like, we gotta write this film. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, my, my nephew's here and he's just visiting. He's supposed to come next week. Hold on, but he's here now. Just give us a second. It's about family. Just fucking take a payday. Just take a payday or some shit, right? And um, and wipe the chocolate off your face. And so and I'm like, all right, so how, Giorgio, how are we gonna do this with the thing? And then all we're figuring it out. And then Mike's just like, in the, my nephew's vaping in the corner. He just like nerds. He used the nerds. Just use the nerds. <laughs> Mike, are you talking about candy? No, no. He's just Argh! make sure they have tight white shirts and glasses. No, this is you off to the side. Hold on. This is this is Mike off to the side. He's listening to us, and he's just like this, and he goes, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Use the nerds. Use the nerds. <laughs> but it would, oh, so I thought God. it was entertaining as hell. But I just think to myself, like, where can they, the, where can they go? Oh, by the way, I love how Vin Diesel always has his car immediately, Bro. as if valet just brought it up. Yeah. Does he have multiple? He, yes. He has one on every continent. Tons. He oh probably has God. forty. That's actually a better plot. It's his I like that. favorite car. He just gets a bunch of them. Hilarious. Ask They're my nephew. <laughs> my nephew has a podcast defending. Yeah. He has oh, a... does Batman only have one suit? No. No, no, but you see yeah. them all because There's probably multiple in. Batmobiles that come up from that little lever thing in the basement. There are, yeah. but they they look different enough. This is literally, he goes to the a same car. and he goes, hey, I like that car. He's like, how many? He goes, all right, we know all of them. No, and well, like, no that's sometimes a... it has different features. No, that's not true. No, he, sometimes he gets new stuff. He, you don't really know that Q is in this movie from James Bond. I was just going to yeah. say, this, I can tell you were about to lie. Can, the little corner of your mouth was like, mm, you guys saw Fast 9, me. right? You saw Fast 9? I did not. Oh, my God. I didn't I'll see tell you. Wait a <laughs> Hold on. No, Mike, Mike goes, there's more of these? <laughs> I saw the first four, and then I just saw this one. No, I saw seven, I think. <laughs> I just go sometimes. One of the big plot points of nine was the use of magnets, and I wish it was. Used. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Magnets that was sick. like the autistic fucking nephew came back. It was like, how are we gonna do this? He's playing magnets. with magnets. He's like, magnets. <laughs> he, has woolly, he has a woolly willy yeah. where he's just putting facial hair on the rock, yeah. <laughs> or or Jason Statham or Vin oh, Diesel. Another spoiler: the rock at the end. That is a huge out? spoiler. I said it. I know. <laughs> I apologize. This is the la first and last time Mike will ever be on this podcast. <laughs> so is that what they're going to do for the next one? You think it will be focused around The Rock, maybe? So I think what's going to happen is... Instead of Vin Diesel. Th there's going to be like a huge... What I'm sure is going to happen is, is going to be like they're getting their team together because they've never had like a team like of bad guys that were as important, right? Because they obviously was like Statham before and The Rock, but then they're now good guys. And mm -hmm. I think they're, they're assembling two teams that are going to fight in the third movie is what I imagine. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah. it's going to be family versus family. Yeah, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I can't wait. Literally, we were leaving the movie theater. I was like, I should start exercising so I live long enough to see Fast X Part wait, 3. I have a question. <laughs> When do you think this movie is coming out? <laughs> Three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. You're gonna... not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mike's Make-A-Wish. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm going to be like one of those cancer guys that gets to see Guardians of the Galaxy early. They're, they're oh, like, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was sick as fuck. Sick. So, oh, okay. That one one good take you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was That's the name of this podcast. That, that one, one good one, take with Mike. One take, Mike. <laughs> I don't like crying in a Marvel movie. That that was oh, amazing. I wept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie. But wait, what other movies did you, have you seen lately that you liked? We watched Jason X the other night. He's only watching movies with X. Yeah, in the I, was title. <laughs> I can only watch. I can only watch the tenth yeah. in a series. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I. And you'd never seen the other ones. You only you thought no, the whole thing took place yeah, in space. I didn't understand a lot of the lore going into it, <laughs> bro. You've never <laughs> wait. You why is it? The... Why is this movie called Space Murder? <laughs> what? what? Oh my god! You know, what dude. movie sucks really bad. The original Top Gun. You know, what movie's really good. The, the new, new Top one. Gun. Stop it, Top dude, Gun. Dude, now Top you're just, now you're just, now you're, you're just trying Come to make on. it. Hold on, you can't wear shorts with that much thigh showing and tell me that the first Top Gun's not great. More thigh. The, it's the fine, but it was, it was just a bad movie. No. The fight scenes in the movie. Oh, when the planes are running away from each other, and, and Tom Cruise is behind the and it shows the shot of the, him and the bad guys, and then it'll be the shot of them in the plane, and then it'll go to a, a wide shot of two planes doing stuff, and all they ever do is slightly turn left. They're like, he's doing the craziest maneuver. And like, it's the nothing. 80s. Let me tell you something. I don't like the 80s, dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Want. Star Wars is bad, too. The new ones are great because we have technology oh, now. Mike! Mark Hamill's a bad actor. <laughs> I've never seen a Star Wars movie. 
I haven't either. Oh, I haven't either. Mike, you son of a but don't bitch. go back and watch Empire Strikes Back and don't tell me it's not fucking garbage. And you, <laughs> dude, you're the Jar Jar Binks of my friends. <laughs> <This is rules. laughs> fucking hell, yo, me so sorry that I brought you on this goddamn podcast. <laughs> this is crazy. <coughs> By the way, the, the, Top Gun is amazing. It's about friendship. By the way, you just did no. That. It's about Tom Cruise being kind of rapey. He yeah. follows a woman into the bathroom. He's like, I want to fuck you on the bathroom counter. Was, is she good with it? No. That's she's, not that. She's spurning his advances the entire time, and then he follows her in there. But in the 80s, like, no ah, didn't mean no. Yeah, you, I've yeah, got a tooth in the middle. You can't stop at the first no in the 80s. Dude. Yeah, Everybody in the 80s, knows that. first no was like. I love that we're in court and you're like citing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, guys, uh, guys, 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 we're citing fine 40 years women ago. V80s. No, I was, saying, I was saying Ice V Maverick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they were together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When, Maverick V Preston. Yeah. Okay. How about when Goose dies? Spoiler alert! Okay, what about it? <laughs> Terrible fucking scene. No, they're in training, and he dies because he hits the eject. Like just a, like they couldn't think of anything more entertaining than just like a slight people die. And we're, how should he have died? A cool way, falling out of the plane. It goes how do you fall out, out of the I plane? Like the Mike, malfunction. Mike is describing this the way like you're doing a book report on a book that we forced you to read. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, and I didn't like how Goose died. Fucking it should have been a cool way. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Well, so Goose dies, whatever. But then they go to get his body out of the water. Yeah. Unnecessarily long dangling in the air scene. Why are they just dangling Goose Twist's dead body around? Why? What does that so add? So you know he's not sleeping. <laughs> we know he's not sleeping. <laughs> Tom Cruise already cried. And then at the end, Tom Cruise selfishly just throws his dog tags into the fucking water. You don't think his widow or son would have enjoyed those? <laughs> you selfish fuck. Enjoyed? I don't know if I used to. <laughs> Wait, by the way, his son has them in the in the new one. <laughs> he must have been a good swimmer as a baby. <laughs> Hold on, you didn't stay for the after credit sequence? <laughs> when he was like, I probably should go get those. <laughs> and he just gets in the water and he's like, hey, I'm going to fucking get these dog tags, you know? Was oh, that, was, dude. That, was that Tom Cruise? Yeah. <laughs> I can only do Tom Cruise. I don't even do a Tom Cruise. I just think he's he he's all knows. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't approve. <laughs> I, I do not approve of Mike's review of Top Gun. <laughs> Mike, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom Cruise would think that about me. But you're going to love Top Gun 10. <sighs> I hope they make that many. I hope you live <laughs> to see it. Wait, well, who did you think Jason Statham was in Fast X then? Because if you never saw... Hit the transporter. <laughs> 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 by the way, by the way, I was gonna say you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. He so is good. the same character. Well, that's what I say about him on stage about the Meg when he's fighting these sharks. I go, he only knows how to do two things: drive the getaway vehicle and karate, and neither of those works on sharks. <laughs> yeah. And yet, when you watch the movie, there's literally a scene in the trailer with the helicopter pulling him out of the water on a ladder, and he is jump kicking a shark <laughs> in the face, <laughs> and he's like, "All right, here we go, motherfucker!" And it's like, like that's doing anything. <laughs> Oh, he might as well farted on him and they're doing the second one. I don't think you even know how Jason Statham works. Yeah, well, yeah. that's, well, that's <laughs> yeah. what I say in the bit. Yeah, and I go, he, that's how he pitched it. He goes, all right, here we're going to beat this fucking shark up. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, they're doing a second one. Yeah. Is he going to be in it again? Yeah. The shark? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's like crazy. There's supposed to be like hundreds of them or something, right? Ooh. Bro, those, yeah. those are so fucking entertaining. Yeah. Dude, the, the Meg was was awesome. I can't wait to see the second one. Oh, you, well, you know what it is? It's all the prehistoric creatures. It's like it's a whole um, ecosystem that was unlocked when they were drilling, and so all of the creatures are coming out of there. Oh, oh shit! Just, this feels right up your alley. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see Sharknado, Mike? I haven't yet. What? Good things. Bro, you are high Don't. enough to <laughs> love this <laughs> By the way, Mike. I'll only allow a certain number of much bullshit on this podcast, and I do most of it, okay? Uh, I don't uh, listen to you. Don't give me that Yelp review. Uh, I've, heard good things. I've heard good things. Don't do that, dude. Don't lie to my fucking fans, man. Don't do that. That's like uh, someone being like, hey, have you, have you eaten at that new restaurant? No, but I hear good things. Yeah. <laughs> Sharknado's probably awesome. You never heard it's good things. It's fucking fantastic. Um, it is fantastic. If you heard good things, oh, it, if you heard good things it was probably for me. Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a yeah. great movie. Have you guys seen uh, Tiptoes? No, but we talked no. about this on your podcast. That's my favorite. This is a real movie that came out so much more recent than than is possible. When it we does, looked it up, like 2003, I think. Yeah. And so Matthew McConaughey plays a firefighter in Malibu, and he's dating Kate Beckinsale, who is a painter in L.A. And uh, they're banging, and then she gets pregnant, and Matthew McConaughey runs away to stay in Malibu firefighting to get away from her and the stress of it. And while he's gone, his twin brother, played by Gary Oldman, shows up. But his twin brother hmm. is a midget. Wait, excuse me? What do you mean by twin? Uh, yeah. So it's <laughs> it. 
don't worry, nerds. It's kind of one of those. What things, do you mean it's twins with Danny yeah. DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. So they <laughs> just fucking other one's wife. Okay. Now, just a couple things you have to know going into this: they ran out of budget, so he's not CGI midget. He is just walking on his knees. You know, like Dorf on golf. You know, like uh, Tim <laughs> yeah. Conway. Like we all used to do as kids. Nah, we was up there. That. Me too, dude. So that's Gary Oldman, and in the trailer, they go in the role of a lifetime, Gary Oldman. Like for that, <laughs> but like, he has normal size everything, and then. Yeah, and he just then looks like also, an amputee with shoes. Peter Dinklage is in it. Who is? What? Uh, Wait, hey, hold on. Hey, spoiler alert! <laughs> so, Peter Dinklage and Gary Oldman are in a motorcycle gang together of little people that ride motorcycles together. And well, how they they ride uh, tricycles? No, they, they big ride, wheels. They they ride. <laughs> well, actually, they do ride big trikes. You're right. Um, but Peter Dinklage has a sidecar. Which full size Patricia Arquette, his girlfriend, sits in. So a little bigger dick, big Patricia Bro. Arquette. It's Hilarious. such a weird pitch that you had to say full size Patricia Arquette. <laughs> Wait a minute, now is Patricia Arquette a dwarfness or no? No. No, no, no. no. Is she full size. Also, Peter Dinklage is French. And and he's wearing stilts. He's full size as well. No, no, that'd be too confusing. <laughs> he, Why uh, isn't he playing the fucking? Yeah. He's the guy? French and he's a veteran, so he carries around a large glass jug of cognac and morphine. And that's just a, what a, is this movie? And so, so <laughs> Mike's when favorite film. She finds out she's pregnant, and then finds out that uh, Rolf Gary Oldman's character is his twin brother. There's a chance the baby could be a midget. Now she needs to meet Matthew McConaughey's family, who are all midgets. So there's a scene, and I'm not going to spoil any more of the movie because you need to know there's several more turns in this plot. But there's a scene where Matthew McConaughey takes Kate. He's Beckinsale been a midget the whole to time to go meet his family at this huge midget party. And there's 60 people. Bridget the midget, the famous midget porn star, is there. She gets in a fight with her boyfriend, who's full size. It's crazy. But when they're walking in, Kate Beckinsale looks over at Matthew McConaughey and goes, you could have told me your whole family are midgets. And he goes, they're not midgets, Carol. They're dwarves. It's the best movie ever made. I'm not going to lie. When he first started pitching, I was like, what the fuck? But, dude, I'm, I'm going home and watching this when I get to the fucking house. Bro, I feel like you're going, this is, this is an investor meeting. <laughs> Like Mike was like, no, the movie's not made. I was gonna say, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it could be with your money, laser. <laughs> Mike goes podcast to podcast. Uh, Dude, if you get some of those moms you stole you know to called? just pay for this. You know what it's called? It's called Little Kickstarter. <laughs> I just uh, I have an affinity for midget based films. Midgets vs. Mascots? Guys, that's our top... No, no. <laughs> Another uh, oh, you do love midgets vs. mascots, yeah. I talk about it a lot. <sighs> Midge v mess. Yeah. But what an incredible just idea for a movie. A millionaire dies, leaves his inheritance to his shitty son and his gold digging wife, and they have to fight. And he made his fortune by being both a little person and a mascot at one point in his life. So his shitty son has a team of midgets and his shitty wife has a team of mascots, and they have to do Olympic style games against each other to for win his money. To Th win this the is a movie? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Hopefully one of these. Like this is a movie you're No, th that's this exists. Gary Coleman's in it. We're Lasers like I have got to Where really. The fuck I got to y'all watching this. Thing? I got to carve out some time for these. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have that at Blockbuster. When yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, Wait, with video like yeah. Yeah. It's, what there's section? It's only available on mini disc. <laughs> Somehow the movie's on a cassette. <laughs> what? Uh, Those. Oh my god. Do you have a thing for a fetish for little people? No, I just. Have you, I have like you ever, they're funny. It's like you ever, accents. Have like, you ever been with a little person? No, I got a lap dance from one. That Huge I didn't asses. Enjoy. But it's, it's like a horse ass. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's exactly like it's that. Too, it's the legs it's, are weird. But you know what like, they are? They're My Little Ponies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they've been put in a can crusher. No, it, <laughs> when it, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. When I look at them, it just makes me think of being at a Renaissance fair and get one of those fucking turkey legs. So skinny at the bottom, just fat. They all the got BBLs. Yeah, just want to take a bite out. But they were small, so they. Too nom, 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 nom. Oh, Michael eat anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, goes, that, you, ever, you ever tried midget ass? I'm like, all right, Mike. It's have you seen Hannibal with Mads Mikkelsen? The show, uh, the, the TV show? show. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You've seen it? all right. So it it's Hannibal, the serial killer, but he's a therapist, mm -hmm. and the person that he's therapizing is the FBI agent who is investigating all of his murders. And, oh, that's tight. It's, and yeah, Mads Mikkelsen is, is just the most perfect person for it he's also like a gourmand chef yeah so you see all these super intricate and artisanal like cooking methods and he's making these beautiful dishes but it's people that's fucking awesome yeah. and dude i the whole time i'm watching like i think i'd try people if i never know. thought that before i always like of course i wouldn't eat people it's people but then you see that you're like <sighs> you sent me that thing last night about if you had to call one person if yeah. you're gonna say something if, if someone asked me in my life we need a cannibal and if, if you call somebody and they'll eat people a million dollars oh dude you're my first, second, third call. 
I'm like, he's not <laughs> thinking up. Sucks. He, you're my lifeline, bro. <laughs> like, you are, I believe that. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever eaten? A jellyfish. A rattlesnake. You had a peanut butter and jelly. I bet you've sandwich. eaten crazier shit I've than I have. Oh, yeah? Nutria rat. Yeah, oh, see? Oh, Nutria. Nutria rat. Like, I'm, 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 I'm feeding shit like see a deer hit on the side of the road and my daddy pick it up and it's still warm and shit. Bleach the meat. Fucking eat it. What do you like mean that. bleach it? Yeah, wait, wait, you like, like rub it, Yeah, like as you clean it, kind of bleach the meat, get the maggots and shit off of it. We're poor, dude. With actual bleach? Yeah, like it's like a watered down bleach, but. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. And that's why, like, growing up, like, I never had any kind of meat that wasn't well done. Like, I didn't know you could cook steak medium rare and shit like that. My entire life, I grew I grew up eating shit that tastes like a rubber boot. Yeah, that's why I use ketchup on steak all the time, just to... I did it forever, and then I finally, like, as I got older, I was like, yo, you can cook cook this under and be fine, you know, and it's get better flavor, better texture, better taste, and you don't have to use ketchup. You don't need as much ketchup. Exactly. Yeah. You don't need any Whoa. ketchup. That's yeah, so I would yeah. piss people off at Steakhouse asking for ketchup. I'm like, this is just how I know how to eat it. Isn't that yeah. funny? I used to work at a steakhouse, and, like, our chef would get pissed off if we carried, a, or if they wanted A1 steak sauce. I'm like, the fuck? It's steak sauce. Like, why do we have it? Yeah, but I don't. I don't use it, but why do we have it? But why have it in the yeah. building at all? There was There's a place called Cotteroso that's uh pizza joint in the dfw area mm. there's like two locations and on the wall they have a bottle of hidden valley ranch that's like chained up there and it has a price tag of a thousand dollars next to it and if you ask for ranch with the pizza they just point at that hilarious that's you could buy it if you want flex would be going in there and be like yeah give me two of them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you're like wait does this have gold at the bottom yeah. Yeah. Ooh, three-year-old ranch <laughs> yeah. that's how yeah I, I are you sure this isn't blue cheese <laughs> oh um, you've probably eaten some crazy shit. You had, to. yeah, yeah. You've been to Japan. Yeah, you, you ever uh, eat one of those living monkeys? I. Uh, that is, you mean from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> is that the first? Your one? racism knows no bounds. <laughs> wait, wait, is that? The, <laughs> wait, is that the first Indiana Jones? It's through his no, that's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, I've seen that one. That where the <gasps> that thing? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That face. I've seen that one's good. We do that, that once an episode. Me. We find a way to throw in Ark of the Covenant. I don't even know why. I'm. I was listening to the other. I'm like, damn, we mentioned that a lot. Guys, I should mention a new sponsor of the podcast is Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> if you want to get out, get out rid of those wrinkles. Look at it for just a little bit of time, not too long. Ark do you think Gone with the Wind is a good movie? Um, you do? Yeah. Of course you do. You probably want to be Rhett Butler when you grow up. Yeah. 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 Why do I know his name? I hate yeah. the movie. <laughs> Never Bro. seen it. I lived in a house model after Tara for a while, though. What's the house in Gone with the Wind? You lived in it? I, there was a house model. Oh. My house was, it was identical to it. I was just modeled after it. It had like a plaque said Tara. That'd be great if that was just your living situation. Like, I lived in the back cave once. Yeah. <laughs> I lived out of Vin Diesel's car once. Yeah. I mean, I lived in the bus from Speed. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say the boat from Speed 2 Cruise uh. Control. <gasps> what? <laughs> I, just, oh my God. I feel like if Mike was in that movie, it just would have been an ice cream truck. Yeah. That's where they shoot it. We can't slow down or I'll eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's already gone. Yeah. Like Mike, we're five minutes in. Goes, it's, it's empty. I got Mike, get to the on your face. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gone with the Wind is terrible. It's a bad oh. movie. It's a bad movie. You just don't believe in the ideals of it. <laughs> no, I don't believe that you should have two hours and the big part is a guy says, "Damn." I feel like the only <laughs> reason that people say that they like it is because it was shown to everyone forever, constantly when there was nothing else out. It was playing in theaters like seven days so a week in every town for years and years and years because there was no other options. No, and that, that life sucked back then. Not true. Life wasn't even cool. It was it the twenties or the thirties? Thirty nine is when it came out. Okay, so what? What did they have? No internet. <laughs> <laughs> they never. <laughs> imagine if they had seen Transformers instead they of didn't, Gone with the Wind at the theater. They didn't that know would that. still be in theaters today. It, the impact it would have made. Gone with the Wind is <laughs> fucking boring. <laughs> they would have no. Are you <laughs> also, I just realized some of the words I was saying. <laughs> I was like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Mike's like, they didn't have nothing before no YouTubing. He goes, they actually just had tubes. Just had you had thing. to go down a river. But Mike, they didn't know what they were missing. It was like before you knew there was a chocolate covered payday. You, you, like, you didn't yeah, know you they like were missing that. When you ate payday, you know what you said? Damn. <laughs> you love payday. Yeah. And chocolate is also good. Damn. 
There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There you go. But no, no, that, that year, right, gone with the good. Uh, gone, with gone, the, gone, gone with the good. Gone, 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 gone with the good. <laughs> gone with the chocolate payday. Gone with the good. You're I'm like just, Trump yeah. having a stroke right there. You're like gobbledygook. Gobble 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 gobble. Um, no, the thing is, do you know that's where that slur came from for Asian people? Because their language sounds like gobbledygook. <laughs> just they took the last. Actually, end of it. I know it's not true. That's not that's true. Not true. Actually, I actually, I was say. It's funny you said it because I actually found out where that word came from. Ooh, tell us! I love so. Slurs. It's actually it's it's from the North <laughs> Korean War. That's what the officers in the Korean uh, War were called, the gooks. Like that's where that comes from. They're a, a Korean soldier. Whoa, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, I found that out last night. It's fun. funny that they just wait. Came you guys up. didn't know that slur. No, I knew the slur. I just oh. didn't know the word. No, the slur. It's, in, it's three of his punchlines. Oh. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, no, the slur. Come on, yeah. no. <laughs> you My see, he has a tattoo of it. I, that's, you know, I was talking about this with someone the other day because they had just heard the slur "moon cricket." For that was the me. First time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, it's uh, really bad. Apparently, I guess it doesn't sound bad. What was the one that they called you? It sounds like uh, a fun. snow roach. Whoa, yeah, yeah, that feels good, right? Oh, I, mean, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten bird shit as well, and I kind of like that. There's one. There's 42 white people in this room, and everyone was like, <laughs> 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 "Called me what?" Um, the, no, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go back to the, uh, Gone with the Wind. Okay. So that year, Wizard of Oz came out. A lot of my, snow roaches in my, that. <laughs> it, just said, it sounds like he's still... You're so white, it sounds like you're saying it against another another yeah. ethnicity. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. no, you're, yeah. you're, you're, your white is... They have to be a pure white. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pure white snow roach. <laughs> yeah. Don't say it with a southern accent. It makes everything sound more racist. No. So, <laughs> damn. Yeah, damn. Well, I don't like the way you said that, Mike. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, Wuthering Heights, oh, Rebecca. Wizard of Oz? That's the best movie of all time. What are you talking about? I'm talking about it being the best movie of all time. <sighs> nah, it's all right. You, it's just all right. Listen, it's Jason six. X. It's just it's all right. It's a six. No, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is better <laughs> and accomplishes all the same things. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You lost anybody <laughs> that was on board with you for a second. You're <laughs> Whoa, bro! Jumping <laughs> ship with Mike. He's like, he'll get you to disagree with him in five, four, three. Uh, he's smoking DMT right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It he's was like, its like thirty-five year anniversary the other day. Killer Clowns in Outer Space. It's a great film. What about, Dan what about Dancing with Wolves? <laughs> never seen it. You never seen Dancing with Wolves? Oh my god! If it's won an Oscar, he's never <laughs> seen god it. Damn, Mikey. Dude, yeah, nothing, bro. What about Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? No. I don't even know. What I don't even is. heard of that movie. It's uh, it was with Jimmy Stewart. It was a really. It was about the guy. The who, race car driver. Okay. You're thinking wait. of uh, Jimmy Dean. <laughs> no, wait, You're thinking Jimmy of sausage, Stewart? you fat mother. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, maybe he was a football person. Jimmy Stewart? No. Race car driver. Jimmy. Race car I driver. was right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Don't say football person, by the way. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> I didn't know if he was a player or an announcer or a coach or something. Involved with football. Yeah, like, yeah football person. Was he a football person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, what, look but, at all these football persons. Yeah. Um. Man, I, I don't know, dude. You, uh, I wish you owned a video store oh, that dude. was just shitty movies. <laughs> you mean the best movies? Right, and people would come and be like, this is on this the tour. Rules. This is on the tour. No, I wish he just worked in a regular video store and they had everyone's recommendations, and his were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like Everyone's got great movies. You look, he's like Otho from Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys don't like Small Soldiers? That's a good oh. movie. That's a good movie. You like it? George, you like it? But we were kids. Is that like, also Matthew you know, Broderick? Yeah. I don't know. You great. just got a Matthew Broderick no, thing. That, that's not... You're thinking of... Um, no, it was the one where the toys come to life. Yeah. yeah. Ar what's his name? Yeah, Arthur? Small soldiers. Uh, he talks Matthew Broderick. Oh, he's not his dad. Cool. He was in, yeah. the, the flat top? Mm -hmm. Dude, that guy was badass. He like, wasn't in Indian soldiers? in the Cupboard? Yeah, great one. Basically the same movie. Yes. You just like you just like toys. You like kid movies. But I bet you don't like Toy Story. I love Toy Story. Oh. But I've only seen the first two. This guy, can't, this guy can't finish a fucking. <laughs> he goes. I've only seen the tenth one. Yeah. Um. I no. There's got to be good movie, like popular movies that I liked. I like Disaster Artist. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I yeah, didn't. Sir. I didn't like. Did you see the original? The room. I did. The room. I did, and I hated it. I, the whole thing. It's like. <laughs> have you seen the room, Laser? Mm -mm. It's a fucking. This guy, Tommy Wiseau. So he came. No one. He is. So Christopher Walken. Obviously, there are people that have very interesting ways of speaking it and are characters themselves, and they can sell, like Nicolas Cage, Al Pacino, and it gets progressively worse, not worse, but more exaggerated over time because you sort of become the thing that everybody impersonates, right? Mm -hmm. And so this guy, Tommy Wiseau, though, he is so odd of a human being that it feels like he's doing a character, and he wanted to be an actor, and nobody would hire him to do anything. So he wrote this film 
that in the early 2000s or late 90s, and it became a cult classic that was shown every Friday at this theater in Hollywood, and, and people would memorize it, and they would go every week, and they would throw parties, and they would all go and get hammered, and it became like this incredible cult classic. And so the the, the disaster artist is the making of that film where uh, James Franco stars as Tommy Wiseau. Oh, shit. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what movie you're talking about. I have not seen it, but yeah, I, have, I know which movie the you're best, talking about now. The it's, best part of the room, the opening credits, where is you know how like there's different production companies and they have all their logos? There's four of them. They're all Tommy Wiseau's production company. Yeah. Yeah, he just yeah. has four different logos he gets out. <laughs> like he was like like he was just testing which one works the best. Wait, oh. he was Mike changing his outfits to get paydays. Yeah. <laughs> he just kept being like, oh, how about this one, guys? This and how about movie. this one? I know a movie I like. I saw the second half of Con Air and it was amazing. So wait a second. He didn't see the first <laughs> half. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know why he's on the plane? <laughs> no. <laughs> he goes, I didn't realize there were cons until the end. <laughs> well, Jesus so Christ. thought there was a Spirit Airlines flight. I was staying at a hotel in Vegas and I turned on the TV and it was just on con and I saw Dave oh. Chappelle. It's always on, plane, by the way. And I was like, whoa, what is what is Dave Chappelle in an old movie? And then I saw what's um Nicholas Nicolas Cage. Cage. No, the Danny really good Trejo. actor one that's scary bad oh, guy. Oh, um, Malkovich. Uh, Malkovich. Yeah, he's cool. My favorite part of the movie is when they're de detailing what they're gonna do, and there's a can. And he has a stick and he's pointing everything and he goes, okay, we're going to fly the plane in here and we're going to land here and do this. And then some guy's like, what's that? And he goes, that's a rock. And he just like hits it. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, so I love Nicolas Cage, one of my favorite actors. That movie fucking rocks. But the fact that you never went back to see the first half <laughs> yeah. of this movie is insane. You don't even know why he's a hero. Bro, I love Mike. He goes, it was put on the, the bar. He was on the bar the one time. The, the sound wasn't a, the sound wasn't a song, but I think I got the gist of it. <laughs> put yeah. the bunny in yeah. the bag. That's put, so cool. It was like John Wick for a bunny. Hold on, why was your impression of Nicolas Cage sound like the, the Mesothumiona? <laughs> was that the, put the money in the bag. Yeah, put the money in the bag. So why like was seven. It? I've seen all of that. Some I thought you were going to say I've seen all of them. I'm like, no, there was only one. It was seven. I saw the seventh. Did you see the new Nicolas Cage movie that just came out with uh, Pastel? Unbearable Weight of Massive Yeah, I yeah. What did you think of like, I didn't see it. So I, <laughs> I just know the name. I of think it's funny. I think it's good. I, 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 I think it's it. good. I saw the one where he fights all of the, where he the stuffed animals that come to life, and he doesn't speak. Wally's Wonderland. Oh, it's incredible! We, I just saw the preview for the new one. For, uh, five? Uh, no, no, it's a different. It's um, oh. fast. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, it's new. So, oh. so crazy enough, they're trying to do. I'm doing. Uh, hopefully, still doing a movie with the director Kevin Lewis, who did the Nicolas Cage movie. Oh. They're trying to do a sequel. I go. I got to get in this movie. I'll do it for free. That's so fucking awesome. He and it was crazy because it was it was actually. Um, did you see the new one where he fights a lot of animatronic? Uh -uh. So it's oh, like it's buddy, like Chuck E. Cheese. This. It's so good. So they the the producers who were putting up the money, the financiers, they were like, he's got to talk in it. And Kevin's like, he no, he could never talk, ever. Like they kept pushing. It's so cool. It's so good, dude. His I was also just waiting amazing. the whole time. I was like, oh, he's gonna talk. He's gonna. Oh, and he just doesn't talk. The energy drinks he's just pouring in oh, there, dude, dude. It's great. It's great. All right, you got one good take in the episode. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, where can everybody find you guys on social? I know you at 7 Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the other end of a uh, chocolate croissant. <laughs> yeah, you can find Mike anywhere, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just fucking look up. Uh, <laughs> oh, Ant Man 2 Quantum Mania was very good. Um, so that's the third one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Wait, what? Mike, I'm not sure you've seen you just, any of these films. <laughs> Do you watch movies in reverse? Like, you'll watch, like, yeah. the 10th, 9th. Like, you'll go backwards on them? It doesn't seem to He's matter. He's like, they all keep getting younger. He's really into Tarantino. So just the watch only movie that made sense to him Oh, was the Hateful Eight sucks so bad. Oh, no, dude, come on, Hold man. On. That's enough. Hold on. The only, movie that ever made, the only movie that ever made sense to Mike was The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. <laughs> it's like, I get it. He's older than he's young. Oh, like, uh, shit. Oh my God! But Django uh, fucking ripped. All did right. you did you say the Django? <laughs> Django. You, you pronounced the D with Mike. Yeah, the D's never silent. Yeah. The Django. Th that's your pickup line. Did you see the Django? Hi, with me. The D's never silent. I'm Mike Eden. The Django. Well, why was your dick a talking muppet thing? Why was your dick a sandworm? Because the D's never silent. It talked. Sock puppet. Yeah. <laughs> It's a dress sock. <laughs> you can find me at my kids eating on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> or, it, or, or buying your question. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Or buying uh, or, or, or purchasing um, croissants at the back of a raccoon <laughs> <Yeah>. food truck. <laughs> Sounds like.
sound like your keynote speaker at the wheezing convention. <laughs> yeah. You can find him getting an iron lung. <laughs> Dude, this is cardio. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. You look thinner. Yeah. Yeah. You're sweating like it is. Yeah. The pinnacle of health. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And we're uh, at Mike is Eaton. Mike is Eaton. And also, what's the podcast? Oh, Highly Social. T- check you know, it out. Yeah, it's great. It's very fun. Super fun. Um, I've done it a bunch. You've yep, done it. Very fun. It's a great one. Um, where can people find you? Uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter, the Ryan Neeson. Trying to get up to 110 followers on Twitter. So. Oh, <laughs> shit. Guys, let's keep him under 110. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it, guys. Look, we don't see that big of a head. Too, too powerful. Too, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. make him too powerful. With 111 dude. followers, I could rule the world. No, no, no. no. <laughs> let's keep him. Guys, if you're following him, unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> let's give me down to zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Just speaking to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you just just crazy. Crazy. Yeah, it's pretty much what's happening now. Yeah, you see the view I've count? I've seen the like counts. <laughs> yeah. I can see the view count. I'm like, three? That's it? Uh, this was a four-second video. Someone turned it off enough to be yeah. like, nah, I, I shan't give my views to this. Uh, laser, what about you, my guy? Uh, Instagram, uncle underscore laser, and then on YouTube, and my podcast is uh, my drunk uncle's podcast. Yeah, baby, and you do it yeah. here, right? Yeah, we do it here in the studio. Thanks yeah, again yeah. for having yeah. us, hey, man. Fucking thanks for Dude, love you, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's a good time. Um, we're going to be on the road. Uh, yeah, come see. We got dates coming out. Um, I'm sure I'll be back in Austin soon, post those dates. But uh, yeah, come see us in Tempe at the Improv. That's one of my favorite clubs in the country. We're going to be there for 4th of July weekend. So come out, um, celebrate America with us, and um, and meet this guy in person and hear his shit takes. My Uber Eats <laughs> is here. <laughs> By the way, that's not his catchphrase. <laughs> For Ryan Neeson, Mike Eaton, Uncle Laser, Giorgio, I'm Jonathan Kite. This has been Kite Club. Thanks so much, guys. Like and subscribe.